Wireless Workbench now includes Timeline, a feature that records channel status information over time. In this video, we'll walk through the basics of using Timeline. To get started, open Timeline. Select channels you want to record from the list. Press the record button to start recording. Timeline uses this main display to visualize system parameters such as RF level, audio level, battery level, and others. You can configure which parameters get displayed and view channels in full or condensed views. Control which data is displayed for all channels here or choose for each channel individually here. Markers let you label significant parts of a timeline. There are two types of markers that you can use, instance markers and range markers. To drop an instance marker, click here. This marks a single point in the timeline. Type a name for the marker and save. Click here to start a range marker. This marker covers a specific range of time. The range stops when you click the button again. If you have multiple channels, markers can be dropped across all channels at once using these controls. This sidebar gives you important information about the timeline file, as well as lists of markers and system events. System events capture significant changes to devices, such as RF dropouts. Timeline keeps running in the background for as long as you want, capturing data for the selected channels. If any issues arise with your wireless systems, you can go back and review that point in your timeline recording to see what went wrong. To stop the timeline recording, press the Stop button and save the file. The recorded data appears in a new tab. You can also view timeline data from the Monitor tab. For any active channel, check this box to add a mini timeline strip. Mini Timeline displays the last several minutes of data for the selected channel, even if you're not currently running a timeline. To start a timeline file quickly, click Auto Timeline. Wireless Workbench will immediately start a timeline file for all online channels and include the previous several minutes of data from the Mini Timeline. This feature is ideal for capturing data about an unexpected RF or audio event for later reference, even when a timeline recording wasn't started. Those are the basics of using Timeline. To learn more about Wireless Workbench, visit our website.